Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, and this is a historic day for a couple of reasons. Um, I'm the guy who always talks about the California drought and what we can do for solutions. Well, today, Governor Brown declared for the first time ever statewide mandatory uh, water restrictions for the entire state of California. I mean, this is big. In fact, if you build a new home, the restrictions are that one of them is you cannot irrigate unless it's drip irrigation. I mean, this is getting really, really serious. Okay, so does that mean that we have to just blacktop everything and just have a dull life? Not at all. You know what? We could actually do better than that as a society. And I'm right now, I'm standing at um, at uh, Louis, uh, uh, my nephew Louis Camino's place. I'm standing in his backyard, and what we're doing is we're installing. Rip. Uh, excuse me, we're installing grass. That's right, we're installing grass. But here's a caveat. The caveat is, is that this grass is watered with drip irrigation. So it's underground watering. There's no waste. It's fabulous. It'll save over 60% water over a normal uh, sprinkler system. In fact, when we get to the front yard, I, that was landscaped five years ago. I'm going to show you that grass. It's been off for upwards of six months and it's still green. It's amazing stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that uh, we do have a pond here and one of the reasons why you want to have a pond is because it attracts the birds and the butterflies. It actually gives water to the beneficials. Uh, it's something that recirculates, so it uses a fraction of the water, believe it or not, than, uh, let's say, a vegetable garden does. But we're working on that, on uh, building a vegetable garden that recycles water. But I just wanted to show you this. Actually, Louie has over here uh, blueberry bushes. He has some fruit trees. I encourage you to grow your own because it's starting to get real expensive. California doesn't have water, and we're the breadbasket of the nation, so it's great to do that. But look at the DG. That's that red dirt over there. Uh, he's, this is something that doesn't take water. We could have put the grass there, but no, it's, it's going to be a hard surface. It's great to have very low maintenance. And when it does rain, it goes back to the earth and it uh, does groundwater recharge. Again, uh, there's a little, this was really simple to do. Um, a little outdoor area, you know, a little little chair there where you can just kind of relax and just kind of come out here, listen to the sounds of the water that come in. And then, uh, I want to show you some really special bushes. These are called John Edwards Ramnus Alaturnus Italian Buckthorn. The beautiful part of these is that they become, look at, look at how tall they are. Uh, they're the perfect hedge. They stay green from bottom to top. And they need about as much water as a piece of cactus once they get fully established. And these are fully established. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, uh, 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 plant. Also right there, that's called the Mexican sage. It grows in the desert. How much water does it get in the desert? About zero. So, but look at how, how beautiful it is. Uh, look, let's follow me. I want to also mention something too about the driveway. This driveway is actually a permeable driveway. When rain falls, it actually falls through the driveway. Cars drive on this. Uh, trucks drive on this, and yet it's as, it's as sturdy as concrete, and yet water goes right through it. It's a permeable service. It's actually uh, a uh, product. It's ground up passenger tires that have gone bald. So the whole driveway here is made of this material. And then I wanted to catch you up uh, because if you, you can uh, Google this, you go, uh, there was a program on A&E television called Fix This Yard. And five years ago, this house was chosen as the house to do a television show. So Hollywood came out for uh, for a bit, and this was just, I have pictures of this on Facebook. It was dirt. It was disgusting. It was, uh, there wasn't really much here. And so the front of the house got fixed up. Um, I don't do a lot of designing these days, but I thought, well, for television, I, I went ahead and designed this out. We put a pondless waterfall here. We have it all off now, but it recycles water, re uh, the same water over and over again. Um, but when it, we actually, it can turn on, and it looks fabulous. And then when it's not on, it looks like a dry creek bed. That's the Arbutus Unido tree. Got beautiful uh, red uh, bark on it, and it gets red berries that are actually edible. Now, if you think that roses need a lot of water, not true. 
I'm showing you the front yard. Louis had the uh, water off for about six months here. So what it's got just whatever, what very little rain we've had in California, that's what it's lived on. But look at these roses. It's April 1st and these roses are blooming like you can't imagine. And again, the, this grass has been off for about six months. Check this out. Check out how green this is. It's amazing. And the reason we have the box here in the middle of the yard is we're actually going to take it to a job site. We're going to create uh, one of the world's first vegetable gardens, soil vegetable gardens that actually recycle water. And we're going to do some YouTubes on that. That's going to be a hit. Food's getting really expensive because the drought in California really bad. So farmers don't have the water to, to grow food. So they're growing less food. It means prices are going up. We're going to show you how you can build your own. And then over here... I had to show one of my favorite plants on the planet. It's uh, actually all of these are my favorites. That's why I designed these here. Uh, here's a, uh, these are the different kinds of aloes, agaves. This is called the aloe striata. It's a relative to the uh, aloe vera plant. Look at that beautiful flower. But again, these take very, very little water. Over here is my favorite plant on the world. This is called the encephalardos. It's the palm of the desert. It's not a true palm, but it looks like it. These are just fabulous plants. So everything here requires uh, practically zero water. I mean, just because it's very, very well established. And um, I just really wanted to share this with you that you don't have to give up your grass if you live in Southern California. Do the subsurface drip irrigation. It's a fabulous product, and it's going to help us to make a better society for future generations. Less water. We never had water to begin with in Southern California, or very, very little. They pipe most of it in every single day to the tune of about 1.5 billion gallons. We can do better. So contact me if you have any questions about any of these technologies, methodologies that, that have been mentioned. And just remember... When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.